We have heard these aerocrafts roar a hundred decibels, thousands of kilometers up in the air. And it's pretty much astounding how the United States government invests in these kinds of munitions. Well, to even load up and strengthen their armed forces. But we should go deeper than this, shall we? How much does the government actually lend for these projects? Well, let's go dig it further. Go get your 3D glasses. Kidding. Your popcorn, kids. Because we'll witness the most expensive weapons ever built and how much are these. Starting with Super Hornet FA-18E made its first functional cruise on board the USS Abraham Lincoln CVN-72 on July 24, 2002 and saw its first active combat on November 6, 2002 when it took part in an airstrike on opposing targets in Iraq's no-fly zone. Throughout Southern Watch, the Super Hornet launched tactical flights from Abraham Lincoln, displaying resilience as well as expanded range and payload capability. During their deployment aboard the Lincoln VFA-115 dropped twice as many bombs as other squadrons in its air wing, all with perfect precision and met or surpassed all readiness standards. The Super Hornet costs 40% less per flight hour than the F-14 Tomcat and uses 75% fewer work hours. Other modifications include turbine funnels that are roughly rectangular and two extra carry hard points for a total of 11, as well as the retention of prior hard points on the bottom center line, wingtips, and two conformal fuselage positions. The increased core technology appendages attributes its high angular velocity maneuvers and minimizes the stationary stability margin to improve pitching characteristics are one of the most significant aerodynamic alterations. Pitch speeds in addition to 40 degrees per second are the outcome and is a significant barrier to departure from controlled flight. The FA-18EF Super Hornet is a fighter and a strike aircraft that accomplishes specialized missions through the employment of external equipment and enhanced networking capabilities. It only serves right how the government maxed out $98 million to build this aircraft with all its high-end modifications and added a Appendages. Next and fourth on the list, the F-35 Lightning II. The F-35 Lightning II is a heavily armored transonic multi-role aircraft intended to address the objectives of U.S. and ally armed services throughout the world for a cost-effective next-generation weapon. It will supplant a variety of older fighter and strike aircraft in the United States inventory, the Air Force, Navy, Marine Corps, and other partner defense forces are all involved. The F-35 plays a significant part in today's foreign relations environment with over 600 aircraft operating from 26 sites and ships across the world. More than 1,200 pilots and 10,000 maintenance personnel have been trained and the F-35 squadron has logged over 350,000 flight hours. Northrop Grumman is honored to be a part of the multinational team working on the F-35's three variants. Defense Minister Jeremy Quinn announced in March 2020 that the value of one F-35B was 115 million U.S. dollars, approximately 88.8 .8 million pounds using UK government March 2020 exchange rates, which included the fuselage and drivetrain. Living up to its name and ranking third in the list, the Raptor assembly line would not have to be restarted, which would save money. Due to different advantages realized from continuous production, each jet would cost roughly 165 million U.S. dollars each. 
The F-22 Raptor is the United States' first fifth-generation aircraft using moderate technology, sophisticated avionics, and economical engines. The Air Force inventory provides an air superiority combatant unrivaled by any other modern military. The F-22 Raptor, a key member of the Global Strike Task Force, is built to protect air supremacy quickly and over over long distances, defeating threats, seeking to prevent our nation's air force, army, navy, and marine corps from operating. No other fighter aircraft, current or planned, can match the F-22. The F-22's structural alteration features are what make it so effective in dogfights. The F-22's two engines have carefully crafted valves at their ends that can move on a vertical direction to display the aircraft's 70,000 tons of weight in one direction even if the aircraft is heading in another, allowing aircraft to perform remarkable maneuvers and leverage an exceptionally high angular velocity during a within visual range intervention, ranging in a teeth clashing cost of over a billion DDG-51 like most advanced U.S. surface fighters, is powered by jet engines. The Arleigh Burke class fleets use four General Electric LM2500 diesel engines to provide 100,000 total rotor horsepower using a twin shaft configuration, allowing them to reach speeds of 30 knots or more in open waters. Modern aircraft carriers have advanced in strength as a result of technological advancements with the Arleigh Burke DDG-51 class superseding the earlier Charles F. Adams and Farragut Missile Defense Destroyers. DDG-51's fighting capability, like that of the bigger Ticonderoga class cruisers, is centered on the Aegis Weapon System or AWS. The SPY-1D multifunction radar system improved AAW and ASW systems VLS and the Tomahawk Weapon System are all part of the AWS. The Arley Bird class can now continue the revolution at sea thanks to these advancements. Diving into the underwater and the most expensive military weapon, the Virginia class submarine. The Virginia-class submarine, the U.S. Navy's newest submarine prototype, boasts cutting-edge subterfuge, covert operations, and weapons system technology. Obtaining a Virginia-class submarine is anticipated to cost 3.45 billion U.S. dollars or 4.73 billion Australian dollars per vessel per the records produced for the U.S. Congress. After the cold Cold War, the Virginia class isn't the first new design to start operating. The Seawolf class was supposed to supersede the Los Angeles class, but after only three submarines were built, work was halted. Due to the funding constraints at the end of the Cold War, this prohibition was imposed and the last vessel was built in 1995. The Seawolf class was the costly SSN submarine, costing 3 billion US dollars per ship. Because the Virginia class is smaller and has low production costs than the Seawolf, it was placed into full production right away. Through aircrafts and underwater vessels, we have seen how much the government had tried to exhaust all of their resources to be able to build a weapon that can be susceptible to their needs. Millions and billions of dollars are spent, and we have yet to witness more.